Here we go again. More Empyrean Galactic. So, we were just a wee bit short on one of the minerals, Zacosium, I think. So, we had to uh, retrofit our gunship here in an abomination mode with a warp drive and some extra thrusters. <laughs> I figured I'd share, so we got some backwards, so we could tip down and actually shoot at stuff, and some vertical, so we wouldn't crash, burn on the uh, 4G planet. Um, capital ship is finished. I spent quite a bit of time loading it, renaming boxes, customizing stuff even further. Um, it was really nice to have the three furnaces when I got back. I spent multiple hours mining and setting up some auto miners and then coming back to collect from the auto miners. So this is the Ares Destroyer. Painted red and modified. It has tons and tons of guns. Uh, two artillery turrets, uh, some rocket turrets, a ton of cannon turrets, plasma turrets, pulse laser turrets, minigun turrets, all the guns. Um, has some forward facing drills. Uh, I believe those are the larger ones up there. I'm unsure if these are the drills or these are the drills. But it's got rocket forward facing rocket launchers and plasma and pulse lasers and all sorts of goodies um, it's quite a bit larger than our last capital vessel our last capital vessel fit on this concrete pad pretty easily so for scale right around where the E and the S is that was about the tail of our last capital vessel maybe a little bit farther so this sucker has a landing pad. So I could just do one of these numbers or have a much larger larger um, flying vessel, small flying vessel. But it's also got a nice nice radar deco piece. Thought that was pretty slick. Um has two door or one door access right in the middle there and on either side of the door where the red lights are there's cargo boxes so you can just land and drop stuff off uh, rear boarding ramp and hangar door wish the boarding ramp went just a little bit further but it's all right finding a flat spot to land this sucker is going to be interesting so it has a pretty large cargo bay here, or hangar bay here, bay 2. They were labeled P1 and P2. I, I'm not sure, parking? So I changed them to Bs. Uh, got some cargo boxes here, some dump boxes, and some extra cargo boxes that I don't really even have labeled. But um, this was four large constructors. Um, set up on the left and right at the top of stairs so I changed some stairs to ramps and made a mini parking bay so bay three so you got to kind of wiggle and squeeze them in there but the compact gunship and my my square ATV that I tried to slick up both fit in there barely but they fit in there so now we have some some parking so we can take all our toys with us So let's get on out and have ourselves a little tour here. So I installed extra med stations here at the back. This is the gravity generator spinning. Uh, there was offline protection uh, in this bay. Uh, I just installed a third large constructor and labeled it three. Uh, back here so if I'm coming in and out the back door quite a bit like harvesting or mining or whatever with the um, the hover vehicle I can do that I need to drop off for the fridge and these boxes are just for dumping stuff into to sort later the 
cargo boxes here are extras. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use them for, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. So this ship uses an extensive cargo container with container extension system. So it says wooden ore volume 32k. So if you look down here at the volume, I'm playing with it disabled. Like my character has tons of volume on him because I just ripped this stuff off the uh, small vehicle, the flyer. But like this wall is a container extension. These curved walls, one of them. Uh, maybe that's the other side. But there's a bunch of container uh, extensions buried in the walls here. Um, it's pretty sweet. And in the ceiling, there's container extensions. Just looks like ceiling. As opposed to having to look like a cargo box. So this cargo is our secondary. And it's got extensions all through the ceiling here. Um, parking bay 3. Pretty small, but hey. Added some railings along the wall and extra poles here so it didn't look all terrible. And then I got one and two over here. They were labeled like A, B, and C. I just changed them to, to numerical values. Um, Pentaxa tank. And as I mentioned in the last one, this one was painted a, a beautiful black and purple. It just wasn't really for me. So I changed most of it to red, red, gray. So we got various sorting cargo containers here. We got extra power, unrefined pentium, or pentaxid, and O2, uh, built items, our, reg our gear, and, and various junks. So what I've stuck in here off to the side here is a mini setup for a deconstructor that I can take with me. Granted, it's 40 tons and I don't need to be carrying all these extra weights around if I had weights and volumes enabled. So, wireless cargo box, deconstructor, gen, fuel tank. So if I get enough junk in the ship that I just want to clean up, I can deploy this just somewhere next to where I've landed and deconstruct a bunch of junk. Here's our main cargo that we've loaded back up with uh, the spoils of our auto miners and mining expedition back to Cree, the lava planet with four G's. Ugh. Uh, got some pretty sweet L um, LCDs scattered around the ship like shield status activated. Uh, this one isn't truly monitoring it and the shield behind here I was going to actually repaint I didn't want it yellow and purple but that's alright you can barely see it so some modifications that I made were adding this this was a nice clean line just ending right here where the symbol is and I've just added a door and extra elevator so if I want to drop straight out of the ship I can this was original extra ramp up and ramp down so front boarding ramp pretty nice pretty nice to have that way if I want to do some flying shenanigans to land on a tower or something I can do it with a front boarding ramp as opposed to the rear here we have a dump box, so when we're coming in and out, either via the elevator or the front boarding ramp, we can just dump stuff in here and sort it later. Sorting everything at once is always faster than sorting every time you come back to the ship. So we've got our main fridge, a food processor, medical station, medical storage, blah. And up here, I've modified this quite a bit. It was a full farm bay starting right here where you can see these fuel tanks and the blue pipes. And it was three wide all the way back. And I've added just more fuel tanks in here. I really hate having to worry about it or monitor it. And it only had, with everything running, including the shield, charging up it only had like 
50 minutes of of go time so we added a ton of fuel that's all so back in ya we've got our wonderful little bathroom with a couch in the bathroom never a fan of a couch in the bathroom but whatever pretty cool our farm with various stuffs hopefully it's the right configuration if not back here in the kitchen counter I've got a whole bunch more stuff that I could plant or replant uh, another fridge just for storage so if I want to just harvest stuff and throw it in there we're good back here's another food processor which I could link to whichever fridge um, here is the entrance slash exit to the uh, I don't want to say flight deck the upper landing pad it's pretty nice I just this place is just huge it's just small enough for me it's a little bit big I would like to condense stuff down but it's it's just a really nice layout um, get the warp drive up here uh, change this slightly this was a solid ventilator block so I added two thin ventilators on the side I color coded this a little bit so that when I'm coming up and down I know that D is for dump box here I know that's the ground level I could just level it label it differently but as I'm going up and down I know which floor is which so blue is the main control deck here and we added this uh, access up here just an automatic door uh, quite a bit of time spent painting and you know a little bit of attention to detail here and there like painting the interiors of these black so it creates some depth and shadow when you're looking at it from slightly farther away same thing yeah, it's around various parts of the ship, but same thing here. It's got the black on the inside to kind of create that that feeling of depth. Um, this was solid and just uh, rounded out with ramps. And I just took it off and added some windows. So when you're actually seated, you can see down a bit. You can always hit alt and kind of like look around, but I figured if you're actually flying the thing, being able to see the ground right in front of you would be a little handy. Um, added this first first aid stick. I need to clean this up. This doesn't look quite right. This little lounge okay is okay with the bed and TV. I like to wall it off, but I don't think I have enough space the way the blocks work. Um... But this, uh, I need to do something with, different with this. Even if it's just moving some more medical stuff up here or something, I don't know. So, these switches are quite nice. We've got exterior lights, so that's the spotlights. Thrusters. I also added some thrusters in the back. Because it had basically one large in kind of each direction. Um... This is the artillery turrets, which are the two very large turrets on the top. We go into uh, third person here. You can see the flat part above A1. That is where the artillery turrets sit. Ship looks a lot cooler and cleaner. And if you wanted to, you could leave them down and park even more SVs on top. So small vehicle, small flying. Uh, a lot of the turrets on these ships are um, space only. So we've got to switch for our shield, and switch for our tur artillery turrets. And up here you've got thrusters off. And if we turn the thrusters on, this turns thrusters on. And same thing with the shield. So if we turn the shield on, we get shield activated pretty slick that's wonderful space magic to me I don't quite get it just yet I'm working on the 
sensors and trying to figure all that junk out but uh, up here in the little side areas there's a little bit of storage here I probably won't ever use them so I might be able to tear them down and just reconfigure this to something more interesting since this is mostly a building game I hope this isn't too boring um, I don't know I really like this ship it's got just enough room but it isn't too big uh, so you're not you know just chugging like energy drinks to get your stamina back to run from one end to the other uh, my most recent addition is this console here which eh, kind of fits it's, it's a little bit out of place uh, might be better like up top here if there was a bit more space somewhere but if I'm coming in and out and I want to I don't know quickly get the hell out of there I can just jump in this go into third person and take off it's a secondary cockpit for uh, the ship so my next project now that I've got a small flyer a I'll probably bring the and hey, let's go try to bring the uh, the hover vehicle in here the probably reconfigure it with drills and make it like an all-purpose just a little harvester put like a you know carry a tool turret around that I got slap on the roof or whatever yeah we'll try like, probably make this sucker into just a little all-purpose hover vehicle and get an actual hover tank going but we're going to see if we can slide this sucker in there. Oh, come on, ramp. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm going to get up there. Um, hover booster? Hover booster. Ooh. Uh, I guess we're doing this in first person. Unless we can get it to go back in a... No, we're doing this in first person. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Get her down on the ground. As low as she can go. Eh, it's a little easier in third person when the camera doesn't clip into the ceiling like it did. Alright. That's that's it. She's parked. There are a lot of motion sensors in here with the lights and stuff. Nope, not quite. Didn't feel like it was all the way forward. Let's wiggle her a little. There. That should be it. And down. Bleep bleep. Turn it off. And it fits. Fine. It looks okay. The actual ship could use some work, but <laughs> needs more rounding or something. I, I don't know. It's just too blocky. It has no lines. It's all just utility. But stripping off the outer stuff and trying to make it look better shouldn't be all that bad. So that's two of our toys. Or all three of our toys, actually. And now that it's getting dark, of course. And we had enough to um, basically craft this one. It was about 30 minutes. The capital vessel only took 35 or 45 minutes once everything was thrown into there. So we're going to try and modify this sucker. Slap... Uh, this and that out. I don't, I don't know. Tear stuff apart. Look under the hood. Passenger seat, eh? That's a good view. <coughs> okay. Um, I, 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 I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck. 
<laughs> uh, passenger seat, go away. Oh. Let's try this in first person. Shutter door. Can I, I, I still can't get out. Alright, we're going to God mode and just move out, move out of there. Alright, so that's that's the next project. I'll just play with that thing and modify it to my liking. Or maybe just tear the whole damn thing down and start from scratch. Just depends how it goes. We'll see. So, next adventure is to get off planet again. And go visit some of these other planets. I got... Let's go planet info. So we got a couple different planets. They got breathable um, oxygen. And this one has like estrium and magnesium that I can go mine actually on the planet and cobalt. Um, doesn't have much of a description though. Difficulty 4, radiation 10, so probably won't go there. But that's the alien planet I think I have to go to for the quest. And this one's a snow planet. And it's got tons of oxygen. Uh, radiation 4.9, difficulty 3, so that's probably a better place to go. Difficulty 2, radiation 4, arid planet. So I imagine that's a desert planet. And that's got some some stuff like cobalt, promethium, savium. Um, but Cree, we hate this place. But it's got all the goodies. Uh, the Zacosium and especially is kind of hard to get in any quantity. But uh, I was kind of expecting, you know, this is this solar system and you could travel to different, different systems. But I think this is all you get. So we're going to visit all these different planets and go check stuff out and hopefully... We'll probably go to this alien planet next. The gravity is only 1.2, so we should be fine as opposed to last time. Um, and see what we could do. But I'm going to play with my little hover tank a bit and see what we can do with that before we take off. So if you watch this and all of this, and watch me walk around in circles talking about ship components, thanks for watching.